Hello everybody, my name is Tommy and I am a mask and puppet maker and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make Fredbear and as well as Nightmare looking good so enjoy the tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this guy as well For this tutorial, you will need a head base. If you do not have a head base, click on the link in the description below to learn how to make a simple head base. Okay, so we will be making Fredbear Nightmare. So in order to do that, what you will need to do is we're going to start off with the muzzle. So start by making the muzzle by crumpling newspaper. So crumble newspaper into the shape of a large peanut. Just remember safety, put your gloves on when you're handling hot glue because this stuff really, really burns hard. It's very hot. So make sure that you have protection on it. I'm going to wear some gloves. For the cheeks, you will need to crumble two small newspaper eggs. Okay, the next thing we're going to be making is the nose. Crumble and flatten a small newspaper ball and attach it to the center of the muzzle. With a sharpie, draw on the eyes. That looks about good, so let's cut that out. Remember, these things are very, very sharp. Get an adult to help you if you don't know how to use these things. Now we're going to trace over this one so that both eyes look exactly the same. So the next thing we need to do is we need to make the ears and the top hat. Okay, so here we have Fred Bear so far. We've got to make the top hat and the ears. So I'm just going to do, this is what the ears should look like. I'm going to show you how to make this. And your top hat should look like this. First, I made a mistake on here. This is too wide. So you will need to trace. I traced around this. So trace circles. You'll need to make two circles. Okay, so there you have them. So just cut them out. Okay, so now you have two circles. Okay, so now you need to glue these two onto the edge of the circle. Okay, so in order to make the top hat, you're going to need to take a long rectangular sheet of cardboard and roll it. I don't need this right now. Okay, and then what you're gonna wanna do, I'm actually gonna trim this a little bit. Now what you wanna do, is you wanna tape this together. You're going to want to trace around this and then cut it out.
Now glue this on top. Put a little weight on top of it while it dries. Let the hot glue cool down and then we will be ready to add the bottom of the hat. Okay. So now to make the bottom of the top hat is you want to trace around this but make it just a little bit bigger. Now we cut this out and we're going to kind of cut out the middle and I'm going to show you how to do that. Now cut out the middle. And just kind of glue that off. Okay, and then you want to glue the bottom like that. So it's going to be a lot easier to glue it from uh, this way than it is to glue it this way. So don't forget your gloves. Where did I put them? Okay, so now that you have that, it's time to set it aside, let it dry. Now let's start detailing the ears. and wrap it around the ears like so. And you should look like that when you're done. Do the, exactly the same thing to the other ear. And there you go. You now have the ears. Okay, all that is left to do on a nightmare is the bottom jaw. So crumple some newspaper and make it in the same shape as the bottom of the mask. Okay, so now all that is left to do on this mask is to cover everything in paper mache and we are ready to paint. So what you need to do is you need to uh, mix one part water, one part white glue, and you're going to brush on the surface area with your glue. Yeah, so then once you, once you had to cover up the surface area with glue, put some tissue on it. In this case, I'm using toilet paper because it's cheap and it works really good. Put some glue on top of the tissue. And then when you're done with that, you're going to put another layer on. You're going to repeat this process on the entire mask until it is completely covered. You're going to want to use at least three or four layers. All right, so let's cover up this mask. Okay, so for Nightmare's hat, 
He actually has a, a strip around uh, the top hat, so we're gonna cut out a cardboard strip and we're just gonna add that. I forgot that, so please forgive me. I'm going to add it right now, so. With the bottom jaw, you want to carve a depression in here or a bit of a pit to make it more 3D and realistic. So let's get to that. So then what you want to do is you want to remove this, but you're going to save this. Now take out some newspaper. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to put paper mache all around this. Now, last thing we need to do is we need to add the razor sharp teeth. So we're going to draw some triangles, and actually some icicles, some long sharp ones. So about like that, I want to show you a little trick on how to get twice as much in just half the time. Alright, so we got lots of teeth here, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut this off and we'll have twice as many. Check this out. And there you go, lots of teeth. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to attach the ears, which should go... What you want to do is you want to cut a slit for the ears. So you want to cut it on the side here. Now hot glue it into place. So you want to do that and you're just going to make a bit of a depression in here. Okay. So I'm just going to do some final smoothing on this mask. I suggest you do the same, now is a good time to fix your mistakes. Cut a line just right in the middle of the muzzle here. Right in the center of the nose is where you need it. Just push it in. Alright, so now you're going to take your teeth. I'm probably going to have to cut, cut some more, but right now you... Let's worry about putting the teeth on. Thank you. 
grab that my little toolbox here. Let's see, I'll need this brush. I need to uh, find smaller brush for detailing. I'm gonna need some gold paint because I'm gonna make Nightmare Fred Bear first. I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then I'm gonna need lots of black paint. I need lots of black paint. Some yellow paint. I'm gonna need some pink paint. Just gonna add a bit of a, a strip of tissue paper along here so that the teeth stay on and that gets painted. So to make the moving jaw, you'll need to take some stretchy fabric. This is a uh, polyester elastic. What I'm going to use I'm going to use some hot glue to attach it to the jaw. Glue on a piece of cardboard at the bottom here. Glue this on. And glue a piece of cardboard on top. Okay, so here's Fred Bear's jaw. You'll notice it's a little more golden now because uh, I thought it was just a little bit too green. So you don't have to make a moving jaw. You can just glue the bottom jaw to Fred Bear's mouth if you don't want that. But if you want a moving jaw, then you'll need to do this. So you need to fit it onto your. You need to fit it onto your chin. You want to make sure that it's not too tight. You don't want to constrict with your breathing. Just nice and snug. Comfort is really important, okay? I don't want this to be too tight and then I don't want to I don't want you to injure yourself. So that looks about good. When your chin moves, this should this should lower. Now I'm just going to trim that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this. Because this fits. This is my size. So yeah, I actually kind of gave him a, another, a repainted Fred Bear because uh, he was looking a little too green, so now he looks more golden and uh, yellow, so that's good. 
And now you want to glue this strap onto a piece of cardboard or, or anything else that will work. Cardboard can uh, be a little slippery on the head, so it just doesn't hurt to experiment. So now you want to glue this on top. Now I'm just going to put a little weight on it. And just let that cool off and dry and then we will be able to try it on. So I'm just going to touch this up. Alright, so to put your mask on, what you need to do you need to put your bottom jaw on. Still moving. Good. Okay. Oh, I got this glue all there. Okay, so make sure that you got your bottom jaw on. Make sure it moves. Good. Good. Moving with my chin. Looking great. Put your Fred Bear mask on. <laughs> Works really nice. Awesome. Oh yeah, I forgot some small bit of detail on Fredbear. He's actually got this. Okay, so to make Nightmare, I'm going to do something a little different. The ears are going to be a little point here. So instead of making circular ears, you're going to be making egg shaped. So kind of like a shape of an egg or a, or a teardrop. You're going to detail it the same way as you detailed the ears before. You just simply take that. You want to just wrap that around. You're going to tape that up, just cover it all in paper mache. So you're going to do that. You're going to tape that on there and then just cover it up in paper mache. You're going to make two of these and you'll have something that looks like these. So that's what we're going to be doing. Alright, so there's Nightmare. So I want to actually make him a little bit withered. A little bit withered, so in order to do that, we're going to need a knife. So let's make him withered. We're going to start cutting him up a little bit. Now I'm just going to advise you to be very careful at this stage. These knives are very sharp. Okay, so let's start cutting him up a little. All right, that looks pretty withered enough. So now let's start uh, covering this up a little bit here. So just cover up these holes with toilet paper, but make sure that they are still visible.
well, this is definitely starting to look pretty nightmarish. So, now, where we had cut those holes, this is all going to get painted silver, okay? This will make them look mechanical and pretty scary. So let's do that. So it'll need silver paint. Okay, so now he is just about finished. Oh yeah, <laughs> I can't wait to finish this. This is looking great. Okay, so all we need to do now is to add the pipe cleaners because this character has a lot of wire sticking out. So you can use whatever colors you want. I don't think I have any gray wires. Do I have any gray wires? I don't have any gray or silver ones, but you know what? This is entirely optional which you want to use. Well, thank you so much for watching. You now have a Fredbear and a Nightmare Mask. Alright, well, I will see you all next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. I hope you enjoyed the show. Now go make yourself a puppet friend. <laughs>